Okay, I feel like recently my faith is really being tested. And I'm kind of annoyed by it because I'm like, geez, how many fucking tests do I need? Truth. Truth. And I'm just getting tired. I'm just, I'm feeling so tired. I feel like that story in the Bible, it's like, I forget what it is, but it's like, um, everything is taken away from this person just to t test if he's still faithful. Like he, he loses his family, he loses his home, he loses his job. I don't know, he just loses literally everything besides his his own life. And then he's just like, why, why? But he still, I think, maintains faith in God the whole time. And so because of that, um, he's given everything back and like more abundantly. But it's like, really, do we have to go through this whole ordeal? Like, does God have a problem with his ego? Like he just needs validation all the time? I don't know. I'm just in a mood right now. <laughs> Um, so I don't know who this message is for. I was just like feeling, I was walking to the store and I was like, no, I have to do this. So I really think it's, um, this is, um, a twin flame reading. Let's just go with that. So this is the divine masculine. Okay. He's feeling very uh, timid. Like he's holding back. He is scared. He's fucking scared shitless about something. Or he feels like apprehensive about something. I guess that's just a better way to say it. Um, something that's like uh fulfilling his wishes and um it's to do with love so yeah he's definitely holding back in love and he's scared to um, move forward with a wish or a dream let's see where the feminine's at she's becoming illuminated like she's really uh, stepping into her spiritual power and um understanding her life purpose, her life path, a lot more than she did in the past. Um, I say she, but any any pronoun. Um, she's giving to others, but also um, she's about to receive a divine blessing in the physical world, uh, material gain, money, hopefully. And then uh, she is blind to something. She knows this. She's kind of just remaining as balanced as possible. Um, she can't see all of the things that are true but she just knows them to be true in her heart. So she's kind of, that's the illuminated uh, truth that she knows. And she does feel like she has to walk away from a battle that was hard won. I see this, she's like the victor, but it's not a happy victory. It's not like, like there were many losses. It's like no, no war is actually uh, good or helpful. It's kind of just sometimes necessary, but it's not, um, it's not, uh, she is smiling in the card, but it's like, she's happy she won, but at the same time, it's like mixed feelings. You're not just, just happy, you're happy and you're also in mourning over friends you lost and such. Um, but she also sees herself where, I rather see her as the queen of pentacles. So again, with this like financial abundance and um, kind of like a motherly vibe here, like it could indicate pregnancy or um, just nurturing, she's nurturing. Um, okay, so let's go back to the mask on. He's keeping secrets, which doesn't surprise me, but we have the moon and the stars, so I also think this is a cute message about like how he feels about the feminine. He sees her as his moon and stars, like the night sky, like vast love. He can't even comprehend it really. It's, um, it's an overflowing of love. It's like he's trying to put it into words, um, the amount of, beauty he sees in her but he's keeping that secret and uh there's still a third party situation he still is playing along with the illusion timeline of fake love uh, but he's soon gonna come forward with the truth yeah knight of swords is delivering a truthful message or just being more authentically himself and again the pronoun doesn't matter and yeah, it's to do with this uh, future he wants with this feminine, which is a beautiful family where they can be together and have this 10 of cups, which is absolute abundance, beauty, joy, fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, physical fulfillment. It's just like spiritual fulfillment, every kind of success. Um, but he did just deal with, or he narrowly avoided a tower moment because um, it's in reverse. And today I'm doing reversal. So it's kind of like this 
was very narrowly avoided. It could have been a crazy wreck, but um, probably to do with the feminine's amount of, you know, the way she is um, remaining calm despite not knowing, not seeing. Um, her faith is saving him from that tower. That's beautiful. I'm like getting chills. Okay, and then we have him getting into his King of Pentacles energy. So, oh my goodness, like he's the King of Pentacles and she came up as the Queen of Pentacles. A perfect match. You can't get more um, abundant and powerful than that. Um, they're definitely made for each other. They're gonna figure that out eventually. Um, and he's just like really horny for her too. <laughs> wants to lay down and that's also maybe why she has this like little baby here whatever you know anything could happen right um but yeah he's holding off he's um well this was sort of in reverse i think he's gonna take it like as a challenge position like he's still he's still holding back but he really wants to step forward he almost has like one foot forward one foot forward one you know like two steps forward one step back that's exactly how he's moving so it's like you're not really moving at that point. It's like one, two, one back. And she's mirroring him in that way because she is, um, she's experiencing the sun, like uh, she's in her element, but um, at the same time, she feels his energy. So whenever he feels down, she feels like the sun is not there. Uh, let's see like yeah, some, some energy for the two of them together. Oh, wow, look at they're together in this card. I said, let's see them together, and here they are. The, the most innocent card in the deck, I see it as, you know, like pure innocence, pure childhood innocence, like your, your true essence. Um, it, it's like, um, it's like, <laughs> it's like when you were a kid and you had like a crush on someone in class. So, so during Valentine's Day, you would like do a heart on their Valentine, but not on anyone else's. And then like, you were so scared and you're like, oh my God, will they notice? What will they say? Will they? And they didn't even fucking notice. You know, it's like that pure, uh, pure gesture of love. Just one more for the two of them together here. Justice, oh my goodness. Because some things were not fair, not balanced, but it, balance is coming. Um, I thought it would happen during Libra season, but um, you know, maybe it did and I was just, uh, this is a very Libra-esque card anyway. Um, maybe I just didn't see it. <laughs> maybe it happened and I was just like blind to the truth here. Um, but yeah, they're both on both of them. Both ends are fighting off a lot of other options. Um, they're just trying to seduce them, just pure sex. And they're trying to like, you know, use their words. They're both trying to have patience, but they're very impatient right now. Both of them. Um, cause they want to be together. They want the bullshit to end. And yeah, I just said end and here's the death card an ending interesting yeah i've never really looked at this death card closely but like there is a dead person here <laughs> it's a man um it looks like a man to me yeah so i'm sorry if someone is experiencing a literal um death in their family or something right now because this is uh standing out to me today f for some reason and um that could be a real person that died, and I'm sorry. I feel that um, during this pandemic, there have been some really shocking deaths, and I'm sorry that uh, it's a really heavy time, heavy energy right now, but try to stay in your highest power. Bring that sun wherever you can. And all this is the truth. I see the Ace of Swords here, so we'll just do one more. It's the Empress, but she's in reverse, so I don't think this is the, the feminine. I think this is a karmic partner trying to act like the feminine, but she can't ever be her. Like if you're a reversed empress, you are unkind, you are um, not giving to others, you are selfish and giving to yourself. Um, the empress is a caring, compassionate, beautiful, kind, um, wise, um, mothery, mother, kind of mother, I can't think of the word, like just a nurturing figure, like, um, yeah. It just their heart is how they rule and in reverse it's the opposite really it's 
but since it's this card and not like another card, I think she's she's trying to act like she's this empress or he, whatever pronoun. But they're not. Um, the truth will come out. We have the Ace of Swords. The truth is coming out. There will be an ending. Um, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. <laughs> I just, it's gonna be this Queen of Queen of Wands um, that has this new beginning. But someone's not using their intuition right now. It's in reverse. So I think it's this Queen of Wands is not really following her inner guidance. Um, she's not delivering a message of love. Maybe she should be. Maybe she's holding back as well. That would make sense with the mirroring. So kind of both of them are scared of their own feelings, um, but also very impatient to get together. So <laughs> there, are, there are complications, of course. But, you know, that's just life. Um, they both desire each other, and they're both up at night trying to, like, overthink the situation. Well, not trying to, but just, like, stressed out. <laughs> okay, that's all I have. Love you.